if um, one of the, the things that you every homeowner has heard, not everybody does it, and that's to take pictures of everything. Um, good rental management companies today, because of abuse by tenants, bluntly tenants don't take care of property like owners because they're not owners, they're tenants, is a lot of times when the landlord, the, the owner, the rental management company goes into the property, they're disappointed to see the condition of the property. And so, and of course when the tenant moves out, the tenant's going to say, oh, all that was there when I started. So having a comprehensive set of pictures accomplishes two goals. One is, if you do sustain a catastrophic loss, it shows the it gives the owner the opportunity to show the insurance company what the property looked like in fair detail. But it also, of course, provides substantial evidence for the landlord in negotiating with the tenant regarding what it looked like at the beginning. This is especially important. I said I'd come back to mold. Uh, mold, again, a significant issue. And what I ran into as, as a landlord is um, I had a property near university. And I didn't necessarily rent to undergraduates, but I rented graduate students, very good tenants, uh, young professionals and graduate students. Weren't real good on cleaning the bathrooms. So I would, um, you know, they would be there for a year or two. They'd move out. And I'd go and uh, go in the bathrooms, and you'd have mold in the corners of the tub stall and stuff like this. And they'd say, oh, it looked like that when I moved in. Well, and then I'm paying several hundred dollars to have the bathroom professionally cleaned and treated for mold. It's no fun, and it didn't come out of their security deposit. So I became a lot more aggressive about tracking things. Um, I've also added to my own leases, I write my own leases as an attorney and a broker, that say that when you move in, if there's any mold in the property, you let me know within three days of moving in. And if you don't, it's clear that it happened on your watch and you're responsible as the tenant. And it was amazing how that improved my circumstances when they moved out. And, um, had some sparkling clean bathrooms when I uh, had the next tenant come in. So it made me a lot happier and it was just kind of an administrative thing versus anything else, just letting tenants know the reasonable expectation that the property will be as clean when they move out as it was when they moved in. And again, photos help with that, but also communication uh, with the tenants is, is a big deal. And so and especially, of course, when you're taking pictures is to take close-ups of the bathroom, especially shower stalls and tub stalls, and uh, areas uh, in garages, particularly here in Houston, attached garages, detached garages have a tendency to develop mold, especially if there's uh, sheetrock in them, things like that.